Greetings, YouTube. The gun manufacturer lobbying group, known as the NRA, the National Rifle Association, has decided to put out some children's stories. The stories they're putting out are Little Red Riding Hood has a gun, and Little Red and Hansel and Gretel have guns. Um, and in the article about this um, on the Guardian, uh, dealing with the author. Have you ever wondered what these same fairy tales might sound like if the hapless Red Riding Hoods, Hansel and Gretel, had been taught about gun safety and how to use firearms? Well, here's here's the thing. Let's look at this literally. Okay, we're going to take a literal take on this. Alright? So you have these three characters, Little Red Riding Hood, Hansel and Gretel, who, say, have been taught firearm safety by their family. Excellent. Um, they're all minors, and to the best of my knowledge, minors don't carry firearms often. Now you could say, well, they're traveling in the woods, so they could just be carrying firearms because. Well, unless there's a reason for carrying a firearm in the woods, just carrying a firearm because, as a minor, sounds like a really bad idea. This also presupposes that these three characters, all of whom happen to be Caucasian, um, are facing opponents who are also not trained in firearm safety and carrying firearms. What if the bad guys in this case, the wolf and the witch, are carrying firearms. Heck, why does the witch need firearms? She's a witch. In fairy tales, that means she can fire, throw fireballs and turn you into a duck and whatever she wants to. It just happens she likes to fatten up children to eat them. Though I never figure out why she just didn't turn them into pigs. They like to eat. But that's beside the point. The NRA is really off base here. Um, the author is a writer and lifelong patriot which means she is, this person has now sold their soul to the NRA and is nothing but a lobbying shill. And notice how I'm referring to the NRA as a lobby group, because that's all they are. They are not a representative of the American people or firearm owners. I don't know if there are any, any organizations out there that actually represent American firearm owners and actually endorse healthy, sensible firearm controls. We need more gun controls in America. First of all, we need the gun controls that we have in place, enforced, and we need things like background checks. We need to close all the loopholes so you can't buy firearms at yard sales and flea markets, things like that. All fi private firearm sales must be eliminated. They must go through a licensed gun dealer. We must do background checks. We must have everything checked as much as possible. We need to make sure, say, when someone who has had a history of violence in their past doesn't get their firearms back. Because that's a nightmare that isn't a fairy tale. I read an article just not long ago about a man who got his firearms back when he was legally allowed to get his firearms back after having had them taken away by the state because of violent acts in his past and the day he took them back the day he took them back he shot his ex-wife, his child, and himself. These are the things that we need to, do, to deal with. And encouraging children to have more fantasies about carrying a firearm around in the hopes that someday they'll meet a monster and defeat it is twisted. Because there are no wolves in the city trying to hunt children or grandmothers. There are no wolves out there endangering our kids. There are no witches kidnapping kids and fattening them up to make them into pies. Or is that another fairy tale? I'm not sure. But there are is stories where you have a whole lot of white people terrified, carrying firearms, looking for a monster to shoot. We've seen this before in America. It doesn't end well for anyone that isn't white. People of color don't like the end results of those stories. I've often said, you want to change firearm laws in America? Convince every single person of color in the United States of America to go out and buy a firearm. Suddenly, the GOP is going to have a much different stance on firearm ownership. Oh, well, 
hmm, maybe we should have more more reasonable background checks and such. Because one of the things that terrifies a whole lot of white people are people of color with firearms. They didn't like the Black Panthers who had firearms. That made them very nervous. It's okay if the white crowds have firearms and threaten the people of color, that's fine. But people of color who have firearms to defend themselves, mm -mm -mm, that's a much less comfortable conversation for most white people. And these fairy tales are, are meta fairy tales. Because not only are they twisting the tales of, child, of, of, of children, but they're fairy tales because the situation is never going to arise in the real world. There are no monsters out there. There are people. And a lot of people that buy into these fairy tales want to use their firearms, want desperately to use their firearms. They're looking forward to a revolution, forward to a zombie apocalypse, forward to race riots forward to resource riots. Why? Because they want to shoot people of color. They want to shoot monsters. And training children how to have that frame of mind is twisted. So yeah, I'm not a fan of the NRA. I'm not a fan of these stories. I'm not a fan of the frame of mind that created these stories or the NRA. The NRA may have been a useful organization at once, but it was co-opted a long time ago. And now it is nothing but a lobbying group, and we need to eliminate it. We need reasonable gun controls in America, and I'm sick to death of the patriots that keep defending a corporate entity like the NRA instead of trying to deal with the real-world terror that firearms wreak upon this nation. And as a closing note, have you ever read the actual Grimm's fairy tales? They make these things look like sweetness and candy. They are horrible. They're terrifying. So yeah, the NRE misses this on every single point. What a friggin' shock. <laughs>